Robocop, directed by Brazilian José Padilla, reboots the seminal science fiction franchise started in 1987 by Dutch filmmaker Paul Verhoeven. Joel Kinnaman, Gary Oldman, Samuel Jackson and Michael Keaton star. We sat down with Padilla and a couple of his actors to chat about his movie. I repeat, just 60 seconds, Detective Murphy brings him down. the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. This, my friends, is the future of American justice. It's a character that he starts out as a hardworking, tough street cop that works undercover. Um, he's in a corrupt, flawed system, um, and with his partner, you know, trying to go after the big fish, but um, but you know, they keep running into the wall and. At the same time, he's trying to take care of his family, and some of the people that they were chasing, they got a little too close, and he gets blown up, and he wakes up in this new circumstance where he's been amputated from his throat down, and he's become Robocop. I certainly think that the first, the original was more science fiction and this is certainly more science fact because we have just moved on technologically uh, uh, since the first one. Jose, the director, went in very n knowingly what he wanted to mine from this. I think that Paul Verhoeven uh, tapped into something powerful with the first movie, which is the connection between the automation of violence and fascism. If you replace soldiers by robots, what happens? Because nobody dies. I mean, really, the automation of violence opens the door to fascism, and Verhoeven saw that, and he put that into a character. Robocop fights against the directives that the machines are giving to him. It's a man fighting against the fascist violin embedded in the use of the machine. So it's, it's a real thing. And I thought it was, a, it was we could make a thought-provoking movie about real issues using this iconic character. It's a weird experience because you're watching a science fiction movie, yet you're connecting to it because it's also every day. I think we're, we can all see the, the possibilities of where that is taking us. We're gonna have to make some very important decisions in our respective societies of how much we will let technology take over and what consequences that will have for our society. Shut him down!